6 Types of Fever That You Should Know Fever or pyrexia, is the normal response of the body to various conditions, generally infections. This is the most common medical symptom. The types of fever are also very diverse. Actually, fever is not a disease, rather it is a symptom of a particular health disorder. Rising body temperature, is a defense against an invading infection body. Normal body temperature ranges from 36.1 to 37.2 degrees Celsius. A person can be said to have a fever, when the body temperature exceeds that range. In this video, we will discuss several types of fever can be a sign of certain conditions in the body. Number 1. Prolonged fever or persistent. Generally, most fevers will go away on their own after 1 to 3 days. However, persistent fever can persist, or continue to appear for up to 14 days. This type of fever, will usually stabilize at a temperature of 38 to 38.5 degrees Celsius. Usually, persistent fever is caused by chronic infections, such as pulmonary tuberculosis, or bronchitis. Number 2. Constant or continuous fever. Usually this type of fever occurs for 1 by 24 hours. The patient's temperature remains above the normal limit for a day or even more. But the temperature will not undergo too drastic changes. The various triggers include allergies, influenza, or cough. Number 3. Intermittent fever. This type of fever is characterized by a sudden rise in temperature, then a return to normal temperature. This type of fever can be found in focal bacterial infections, for example in urinary tract, or biliary tract infections. Number 4. Remittent fever. In contrast to intermittent fever, remittent fever is a fever whose temperature can no longer return to normal temperature. The temperature remained above normal throughout the day and fluctuated by more than 1 degree Celsius in 24 hours. One of the causes of this type of fever is infective endocarditis. Number 5. Pale Epstein fever. This type of fever is specifically related to Hodgkin's lymphoma. The characteristic of fever is that the fever rises suddenly, remains high for a week, then it suddenly dropped to near normal and persisted the following week. This pattern can be repetitive. Nevertheless, this type of fever is still disputed its distinctive pattern. Because, in some cases, the pattern of Pell Epstein fever is always different. Number 6. Hyperpyrexia. Fever occurs with body temperature exceeding 41.1 degrees Celsius. Concomitant symptoms usually include an increased or irregular heart rate, cramps, rapid breathing, seizures, confusion or alterations in mental state, lost consciousness, and coma. The causes can be various, ranging from infections, poisonings, to diseases such as cancer or tumors. Hyperpyrexia is considered a medical emergency. If not handled properly, organ damage and death may occur. The management of fever depends on the cause. In fact, some fevers can go away on their own. For example, in respiratory tract viral infections. However, if the fever experienced is hyperpyrexia, seek help as soon as possible. Because, this type of fever requires immediate medical attention. Knowing the type of fever, can help you identify, what your body is going through, and determine what your next course of action is. If the fever does not go away after 3 days, you should see a doctor so that it can be treated according to the underlying disease.